So I need to make a dew shield and the reason is because there's a bunch of us from the astronomy club that I'm a member of are flying to Tenerife later this year and weight is a premium. So we're packing pretty much everything bar the observatory sink. Um, I've had my thinking juice. I've come up with a cunning plan to make a DIY alternative to the original one that I've got. So let's check it out. So the telescope I'm making this juice shield for is a 5 inch ETX Maxudov, but the same technique can be used for a larger or smaller aperture scope. You can even use it on guide cams and viewfinders. Of course there's a lot of commercially available juice shields to buy. I have one for this ETX and it is made from heavy plastic and it's got some threads on the bottom that screw into the top of the scope. Probably the most common type of juice shield are ones like these, which are made of vinyl that have Velcro on either side, and you simply just strap these around your scope. You can get these also with built-in dew heaters. So this is the material I'm gonna make the juice shield from. It's a gym mat, and it's about a meter and a half by a half meter, and it's six and a half mil thick. I ordered the thickest one I could, because I wanted to hold its shape off the end of the scope. I did order black and it says it's black, but to me it looks like it's a dark gray. May not make any difference, but we'll see. So just something I noticed when I opened this, on one side it's completely smooth and shiny, and on the other side it's got ridges, and I think that's probably to prevent slipping when it's on the ground, but this is actually really beneficial because these ridges will disperse any reflected light that enters into the dew shield. So I can see even in daylight, you can see on the outside, uh, there's a good bit of reflection, but on the inside, you can see that those ridges are actually dispersing the, li the light quite nicely. So measuring out how much to cut is really straightforward. I just use the existing dew shield as a guide. And obviously if you don't have one, you can measure with a tape or a length of string. Then mark and cut the piece of size. You may want to cut a little extra just to allow for a dew band between the scope and the shield. Then measure and cut your lengths of Velcro. The type I used didn't have any adhesive on the back. Uh, that's because I always found that they came unglued over time. So using some scrap pieces, I tested various different types of glue. So hot glue did stick well to the foam, but not to the Velcro. Other branded adhesives just didn't want to cure. Even some super strong epoxy wanted nothing to do with the plastic in the foam. So it was time to get the needle and thread out. Now, I know what you're thinking because I was thinking it myself. What the hell are you doing? But bear with me guys, this looks like it's gonna work. I mean, it's not up to my usual standards for high fashion design, but there is zero chance that this Velcro has ever fallen off. So after some initial fiddling about, I got into the swing of it. And actually, it only took about 30 minutes or so. With the weather so bad and no stars to see, what else are you going to do? A little bit of sewing. Okay, so I finished sewing and I'm actually quite pleased with how well it's turned out. My sewing skills aren't the greatest, but it's it's holding together really well. So let's try it on the scope and see how it fits. Perfect. Really pleased with this. good and secure and also if it gets really cold you can always add on an extra dew heater so how does it hold up to the teardown test uh, you can just simply slide it off. 
That holds up pretty good. Packed, ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to call this project a success. I will try it out the first clear night that I get and I'll update my findings in the description. Total cost should be appearing here. It took probably in total about an hour. Uh, I was a bit slow with the sewing to start off with, but you might be faster than me. Or I guess if you use a machine, you'll be much quicker. I hope you liked the video and it shows you that with just some very cheap materials, you can make what is otherwise an expensive buy. Please consider subscribing if you like the video and we'll see you next time.